What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my Ninja Foodie Pro. Today for you guys, I'm going to make some easy Ninja Foodie barbecue thighs. Now, these are bone-in thighs, guys. Now, let this marinate overnight um, so this good and seasoned. I'll go over what I seasoned them with in a second. And for those of you that don't have a Ninja Foodie, feel free to join in. I mean, if you have an Instant Pot or any other pressure cooker, um, you can follow me. You can follow this recipe. You'll just have to um, either use a air, you know, your standalone air fryer to finish them off or your oven, so forth. So like I said, these are four bone-in thighs. And I seasoned them with my go-to, of course. And also, I seasoned it with some barbecue seasoning. And we're going to finish it off with some baby rays. Yeah, this is what I'll be using. Just got that out of my pantry. Now, if I wasn't on camera, I would love to put some of this on there. And I may do this off camera. Because I already did an orange, you know, orange chicken video. But this stuff is good. You can get this at your local supermarket as well. But anywho, I said this was going to be easy. So let me shut up and get going. Because we're using this piece it came with and we're going to rest the thighs right on top and the reason guys I'm doing it this way is because I don't want to submerge it in water and all of my seasoning come off that would defeat the purpose now if I didn't um, marinate this overnight then I would consider submerging this in water and season the water use some chicken broth and add some other stuff in there so it can kind of infuse in there but we don't need to do that in this case. All right, so as you can see, we have four in there. And I'll give you a little fun fact since we're here. Um, I like every piece of the chicken but the wing. Now, I like wings like party wings, like flats and like the smaller wings. But like the wings from a, like a whole chicken and stuff like that, I don't like that. I'll eat every other piece but that. Fun fact, I know. To some, that's blasphemous, but figured I'd let you know. All right, guys, let's get the lid on. Let's get put the valve to seal, which it is, okay. All right, real simple. We're going to hit pressure, leave it on high. We're going to do seven minutes, guys, and then 10-minute natural release. All right, we just got to pressure, guys, so we'll be back in a little under seven minutes. And remember... We're doing a 10 minute natural release, so we're not manually releasing the uh, pressure right away. So I'll be back. All right, guys. Now we're going to let it count up to 10 minutes, and then we'll do a manual release, and then we'll be. Then we'll add some barbecue sauce and air fry. All right, so I'll be back. All right, we're just about done, guys. All right, hit stop. Well, actually, I just turn it off. All right, so let's go ahead and release the pressure. So I'm just gonna take these out um, and release the water because I think it air fries, based on my travels with the Ninja Foodie, I think it air fries better when there's no liquid on the bottom. So I'm just for those purposes. You don't have to, but I'm gonna do that. Let's drain the water um, and then uh, put barbecue sauce on both sides. And we're going to broil these for, I don't know, four or five minutes each side, and we should be good to go. Oh, and by the way, guys, um, I'm doing four, but when you're pressure cooking, I could have put eight or ten in there. Because when you're pressure cooking, unlike air frying, when you're pressure cooking, no matter what you stuff in there, as long as it's um, enough liquid. So if I put like ten in there, maybe I put, maybe, I don't know, uh, two cups of water in there, a cup and a half. And... All of them would have got the same amount of heat distribution. Unlike air frying, you'd have to space it out. So I did four, but you could have did ten. Long story short. Let y'all see me brushing them. And make sure if you have an air fry, you have one of these brushes. I'll put a link in the description. You, it just makes it easier to, you know, to get stuff on there. There's sauces on there. I know some of you out there that just got air fryers. Or Ninja Foodie, should I say. Um, you may not have one, but definitely think about investing in one. All right, so let's take these out now. Uh, 
I'm going to drain that into a measuring cup for now. And you know the pot's hot, so make sure you have on your gloves. All right, got my rack in, so let's get some barbecue sauce on this side. All right, looking good. Let's drop the top. All right, we're going to air fry. In fact, not air fry, we're going to broil. That's locked at 450. I want to do four minutes at least. All right, guys. So we're going to flip these. And we'll go another four or five minutes and we should be good. Look at that. Now, I'm going to warn you. Be careful with these bad boys because this is borderline fall off the fork. Borderline. If I would have did it, if I would have pressure cooked these for 10 minutes and naturally released it for 10 minutes, it, it would have been falling apart right now. So be careful when you're handling these. Because we want that skin to stay on. See, that's trying to go away. All right, look at that. It's trying to fall off. All right, let's do five minutes on broil, y'all. Oh, man, it smells so good. Y'all hear that? Mm -mm -mm. Don't be afraid of success, guys. Go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so you can be informed when my next video drops. And you can also be informed when I do my live giveaways. Shout out to all my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. You saw the paper towel go up, so you know it's time to eat. And I know some of you don't like thighs. I, I personally like thighs. The reason why I like thighs is because it's cheaper. It's a lot of meat in them. It's juicy. <clears throat> and it's just, it, it, it's just a staple in so many different recipes that you can add thighs and boneless thighs to. So it's just wisdom to me. But anywho, let's dig in. So this chicken should be fork tender. It should be, see, look, just coming right off. Look at that. Look at that right there. You see that? Looks nice and juicy. Let's take some of this first. Let's analyze it. Smell it. No, I'm just kidding. You take the first bite. You got it? Nice and juicy, nothing but flavor because we let it marinate overnight. Definitely a winner. Definitely a winner. Let's get some of the skin action there. You got it? Mm-hmm. That's just too good, guys. That's too good. Now, this is this is some cauliflower rice that I ha I made the other day in this machine. This is uh, cilantro cauliflower rice with corn. It's so good, guys. I know some of you probably don't like cilantro, but I'm not one of those people. Take a bite. You got it? Mmm. Man, if you ever if you never had cilantro rice before, you gotta try it. One of y'all grab that before I get it. You got it? Mmm. And this is just some broccoli that I had in my freezer. I just tossed it in the microwave. Mmm. Mm-mm. -mm. Well, that was just fantastic, guys. And again, my cilantro cauliflower rice was the bomb. If you, had, if you didn't get a chance to check out that video, it's two videos before this. Definitely check that out. I did this in this. I did it in this machine, and I air fried it. It was from frozen, a uh, frozen bag of cauliflower rice on Oli, and I just seasoned it, and it came out fantastic. But anywho, guys, if you have a ninja, if you have this ninja foodie or any ninja foodie. Consider joining my Ninja Foodie Nation group. We'd love to see what you're making in your Ninja Foodie. Come in and show off what you're making. Or do a search in there and get recipes. And also, guys, 
if you have this uh, Ninja Foodie or any pressure cooker, also consider joining my pressure cooker group. It's called Pressure Cooking with Doug. We'd love to see what you're making in whatever pressure cooker you have. In that group, whether it be an Instant Pot, whatever. Ninja Foodie, Kasori, Go Eyes, whatever you got. We'd love to see what you're making. And on top of that, guys, if you are doing low, if you're on a low carb diet, um, I don't mention enough in my videos. I do have a low carb group. It's called Lower Carb uh, Nation. No uh, keto. It's just low carb. Not no carb, low carb. We love to see what you're making low carb. We love to, we welcome your ideas and come in and see what we're doing. All right, so I'll leave links to all three of those. And if you have an Instagram, guys, look me up on Instagram, Cooking with Doug. But other than that, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug.